All right, welcome back to LearnWire. We're gonna be doing some more testing in Harbor. I wanted to show you a quick update that in less than 24 hours of publishing the article using Harbor from yesterday, we actually got a top 100 ranking for a keyword that actually gets uh, traffic, has search volume, uh, AI text generation tools, we did hit number 87, and that's just less than 24 hours. Again, this is more of a broad term, so that's pretty impressive. A lot of times, if I rank in the top 30 results, you know, that's page one, two, or three within 24 hours, it's usually for a very long tail keyword, so it's a little easier to rank. But in this case, we were able to rank for a more broad keyword that has search volume. Um, in the top 10 pages it's you know it's not top three uh, pages but it's something for sure we're going to keep uh, doing more testing so what we're going to do today i have some different ideas so i've done a little bit of everything i've kind of uh, kind of gone in and done some keyword keyword research over here in se ranking i like this keyword over here it gets a little bit of volume and it's a difficulty of zero what is a good email open rate on uh, email marketing so we went ahead and copied that and we went into our trusty old tool neuron writer and so what i did was i actually went over to the outline and ai writing sections and so we gathered all the keywords and we used this outline generator we generated this outline based on all these keywords right over here so what we're going to do is i'm going to copy this so we're gonna take our keyword, let's go back into Neuron Writer, and this is the keyword I wanna go with, and so we're gonna go back to Harbor. I'm gonna be bouncing around a lot, just FYI. So this is gonna be our main keyword I'm gonna put in right there. We have our, I wish that they would put, our sitemap would be able to be you know, a drop down because you're probably going to be working on a few sites at a time. I would love for them to add in just a drop down menu right here. You can see that it's one of my websites. It's uh, holding on to the memory, but it would be nice to be able to kind of have a drop down right over here. So let me go find that site map real quick. I'll be right back. Again, you can come in here and just go to SEO Mater and throw in your site. I don't have these memorized. And the way that different WordPress uh, plugins, depending on what plugin you use, your site is going to have a different naming convention. So uh, I just don't, mine is probably the most simple, which is just sitemap.xml. We're going to go and just grab this right over here. Today, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and grab just posts. I want to just talk about posts or I want it to only refer to the posts on the site. And we'll see, we'll be able to know if that, if it performs or if it does not with that. So I'm gonna put that one in right there. And then we have our instructions, but I wanna use some of these tools down here, right? So we have casual, friendly, informational post. We're gonna mess with the instructions, the files, images, and so forth, right? So let's grab a couple different keywords. I wanna fill in a couple keywords and we're gonna get those from our Neuron Writer. So what I'll do is we'll just come back. Actually, I'm gonna go like this and we're gonna copy this. And we're gonna come back into Harbor and under instructions, I wanna say, use this outline. And then it does have a max of what we can put in there. Where does bounce rate, where does that stop? I wanna go and see that we're not able to do this. All right, so it's able to fit about half or about 75% of the outline. Another thing that we can do is, we're just doing some fun testing, right? So I'm gonna go and just copy this and I'm gonna put this in a text file right here, and I'm just gonna title this. All right, so we've got our outline. We'll come back into Harbor real quick, and we'll go into Files, and we'll choose this file. There's the outline right there. So we have our email open rate outline, but then I also want to see if we can add one more in here, which is a knowledge base, learn why our knowledge, and it's just content. It needs to be a text file or, all right, so we go like that, we do have what it's looking like, I'm not sure, but what it's looking like is that we're only able to add one file because I'm not seeing the second file. So that's something that we need to understand as well. It's just, yeah, I'm not seeing that I was able to, it does say drag and drop files here, but it seems to only be letting me draw uh, drag and drop one file. So in this case, I wanted to try to do a learn wire knowledge, which it could kind of gather from my brand voice and previous articles, but we're gonna go ahead with just the outline right now. So we have our outline upload, <clears throat> and then under instructions, I'll say use the files from enrich content. And I'm not sure if you have to do this, I'm just doing it to make sure that I'm very clear on the instructions and create outline exactly like the file, the text 
All right. We have some images going on as well. I've already went, I, you know, created some images using ideogram right over here and we uploaded them to our website. You're going to need to upload them because it takes a URL. So I'm going to copy the URL right here and then go back into Harbor and go into the images section. And we're going to throw that image in and then we're going to go back and we're going to copy the image URL there and paste that in. And then we're going to copy this one as well and throw that in right there. You can add more if you need to. We're going to upload those links. I'm going to skip that one and keywords. I want to add just a couple from Neuron Writer. So I'm going to go back from here. I want to go to terms and I just want to see maybe email open rate and then we'll come back in. Um, just trying to look at some of these popular ones. I'm going to skip email marketing, average email open rate, and then I'm going to add another one just one that's popular or something that's different click through rate. I think that one's good. Let's go with click through, click through rate. Perfect. I'm going to upload that as well. All right. So we are using, utilizing the keyword section, the image section and the file section. We're doing a different keyword. So this was a keyword that we found in our keyword research tool and not from a keyword that was in Harbor. What is a good email open rate right here? We're going to see, if we can get what kind of result we get with this. So I'm gonna generate content. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we've got our content. I've kind of looked at it for a second. It doesn't seem to be able to take the instructions to use the file and exactly use that outline. The next test that I'll be doing, you may wanna make sure to subscribe, is I'll just be putting in the outline, my next outline inside the instructions to see if it'll actually do that but it did not really gather the files. I've kind of looked at all the headings. It's kind of done whatever it's wanted to. And that would be because of their pro proprietary, you know, algorithm that they've built and the instruction that they've given it probably supersedes what's going on. And it has its own style of writing. It's always going to want to, this tool is always going to want to come back to find content on your site that it can relate to and write back to, because that's the way that websites actually should be built and performing, right? But in a sense, I would like the ability to have one-off articles being written for like the fresh content on your website that you don't have a lot of other stuff to refer to. For example, if I'm talking about email marketing on this a particular article, if I don't have other articles on my website to talk about email marketing, then it uh, seems like it would be hard to re have things to refer to and so forth, right? So we'll just come in here. It says open rates uh, can change based on things like the type of email, how many people are um, on your email list, and even what device people use to read their emails. Learn more about email marketing best practices. So I want to click in here and see LearnWire Pro email marketing best practices that actually we actually do have an article on our site. That's pretty cool. I believe so. Let me go and check. Okay, so here's what it did, guys. It actually created email marketing best practices. We don't have this page on our site. So you're definitely going to want to, like, this is what it wants to um, refer back to, email about marketing best practices. We need to write that content. So what you would do is you'd probably take a note of this and you would go and write that as well for cluster topics. And then advanced SEO strategies using AI tools. I believe that is an article on our site right there. So that's good. Just kind of going through and you definitely want to pay attention to all of the email list building strategies right here. So you're going to want to create this cluster that it's basically creating for you. You're going to want to make sure you check every internal link to make sure you actually have a page on your site. It did a great job with the images. And so these images are pulled in the images really great. And you can see that I made these for um, Pinterest because I'm doing more of a Pinterest traffic strategy on this website. And so I want to create more Pinterest 9 by 16 style images that are vertical. So they'll do better for, you know, creating pins from as well. We have best send times and then it created a bigger image right over here. We'll be able to resize that if we want. One thing I wanted to, I know that our keywords section, we had click through rate. So I wanted to check that out. Click dash. We have one. It, it did add it one time in the article, but it was click through rate and not rates. I believe that would be looked at the same in Google. So I'll go ahead and give them the credit on that one that they added it. Let's go check our other keywords, average open rate and see if this got added over over here inside. I'm going to go like this. Okay. And that one didn't get added. And then we'll go email open rate and see if that one got added. 
email open rate or rates got added eight to nine times. So that one it did a, a good job on. So I have to give them about a C on this one. It doesn't seem it, it, it took one of the keywords and added it eight times. This one I will I'll give it one credit. And then this one it didn't add at all. Might be a little overkill on the email open rate, but we are talking about that. It's a heavy keyword. So I'm just going to give it like a, you know, a, a C, maybe a B minus from that perspective there. I give it an A on the image usage. It did create, we did give it three images. There's one, two, it had only used three of the images. I mean, sorry, we gave it three images that only used two. We have one and then two, and then it did not use another image. But this is some of the cool stuff that you need to pay attention to. This email rates day by week right over here. This chart and graph, this tool created this automatically. This does not exist on my website. I did not upload it. And that is another power of the content creation that Harbor can do for your website is that it created this graph right over here. And I haven't seen other tools create graphs. So that is something that's really cool going on in the background. It does, you know, it's not adding any kind of, uh, again, it, it speaks in a, or it writes in a very concise, informative, professional way with hardly any fluff at all or no fluff, short paragraphs, the way that content really should be delivered and written on your website. And I, and there's probably a reason behind this. If Hamish felt that first person was, was a needle driver, a needle mover for your content, then he probably would put that as an option. But this is the content type of writing and tone that he probably ranks all of his websites with when you're writing for businesses and so forth. So I'm just going to go with that. This is a tool that you're going to be, you know, if you invest in it, you're going to be trusting in an SEO expert that has gotten results in many businesses, e-commerce sites and so forth. So you kind of want to, you know, if you're going to be very specific about the content uh, type, then, you know, this tool might not be for you. But if you do want a kind of ha more hands-off approach where it does analyze your website, it does do a good job on the internal links and your whole site is kind of talking to it and it's going to do a lot better job with the, you know, content clusters on your website than this tool is for you. And finally, let's see how many words it created for us. I'm going to right click and I'm going to check this out. It looks like it's a, it was a little bit shorter of an article. Oh yeah, I forgot this tool does not work. I'm back in ARC today. If you guys want me to do a full kind of analysis and I've been using this for a couple of weeks now, ARC browser, there's some things I love about the browser, but then there's things like this, like the you know, word counter plus does not work. Some plugins don't work and crossover from Chrome. And then there's also some funny things like when you're in Pinterest, some of the stats are not able to be shown in ARC, but then when you go into Google Chrome, they work fine. So it kind of messes up your, it messes up your workflow a little bit, right? So, uh, but then when it comes to like the size of the screen and um, your organization over here, you can see on the left-hand side, uh, this is way better than Chrome. So there's still just no perfect uh, browser or solution. And I'm just gonna go over here and see what the total count is. So it did a 1,114 word article, not bad. All right, so I just wanted to go and ask ChatGPT, which will scour and scrape the internet. We're seeing between 20 and 25 percent. Um, anything over 15 percent is good, but 20 to 25 percent. What did Harbor come up with? It did say 20 to 25 percent. So this means that it is researching, you know, factual information and adding this into your content. So this is good information and helpful information that we're providing for the end user. And we just checked facts, and it is uh, pulling good information. So overall, still very pleased with the content. Again, the biggest tip on this one or the biggest takeaways is that not really sure what files is going on. I hope Hamish is watching the these videos to kind of learn from uh, the user standpoint of people that are deep diving into this, what they're going to find. Keywords, you know, it didn't perform extremely well on keywords, adding keywords and then intentionally making sure those are in the content. I didn't use links, but I'm confident that would work. Images, it did, I, you know, it, it added two of the three. And so I don't know if... They have an algorithm in there where they only want to add two of your images um, or whatever, but that wasn't perfect either. 
files. I kind of feel like I didn't do anything with the file. So I'm not really sure what files is for if we tell it and instruct it to use files over there and it didn't do that. Another question I'd have is what is this box for other than, you know, don't make these types of statements or whatever. What is the instructions for? Can we put an outline in here? And why is there a limit on the character amount of characters we can put in the instructions box right here, right? So those are the questions that I have, but overall, very pleased with the content here. And don't forget, we got a result rank 87 for a broad keyword term. And we got that within hours There wasn't even 24 hours. So that is impressive. Does the tool actually rank? Yes. There'll be a link below if you want to go check it out. It is a little bit more pricier per word word than you are used to. This is definitely not your Koala Rider or Zim Rider where you're going to be able to pump out 50 articles at a time. That is not the point of this tool. This is for your bread and butter money sites, your real business websites, e-commerce sites, you know, like my LearnWire site where I'm only publishing one or two articles a week on the site. They're um, true review articles that I, you know, are based on me reviewing software. Those are things that you're really working to build a real business, then Harbor is going to be a great tool for you. But if you are trying to do those, you know, spray and pray method using AI and you want to post a thousand articles um, per month on a website, then this definitely is not going to be that tool for you. So I'll continue keeping you guys posted on how per Harbor's performing, any new updates and so forth. But this is just a fun, fun tool to, to start using. And I'm excited to see what they're gonna do to continue to improve the tool. This is just the beginning. It's only been out for a couple of months, I believe, and they have big plans for the tool. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.